Here's how we put the proctor sling into a vehicle storage mode so that the sling is out of your way and doesn't snag on anything, but the rifle is still accessible and easy to shoot. The first thing we're gonna do is grab a hold of the adjustment buckle on the sling, find the portion of the webbing that has the label sewn onto it, hook your thumb underneath that, pull that loop back towards the buttstock, lay the sling down nice and flat against the gun. You wanna end up with about two inches of slack past two to three inches of slack past this metal buckle. Now grab that webbing loop there, double it up, lift this webbing up with the buckle on it so that you can push this webbing through this hole on the buckle. All right, now what we wanna do is we wanna tension this 550 cord, hook your thumb through that loop on the webbing, grab hold of the back of the buttstock, grab the adjustment buckle and push straight down towards the muzzle and pull back with this thumb to create some tension. Once you have that tension, pinch and hold that tension by pinching the webbing against the metal buckle. Now, let's push this webbing back through the other portion of that metal buckle where it's going back down. Turn the sling over, lay that flat. Now you have the sling stored against the rifle, nice and tight, very low profile. All of your controls are accessible. You don't have a lot of bulk that's gonna interfere with your ability to mount the gun to shoot it. Uh, the rifle will store up nice without the sling snagging on things. When it becomes time to get the sling back in operation and put it on your shoulder or whatnot, grab a hold of the adjustment buckle and push straight down towards the muzzle. That will release that tension and you can put the sling on your shoulder at that point.